Hi ladies, good morning. Hope everyone had a beautiful weekend. And today we're going to talk about goals. It's uh, the month of October and we have decided to talk about goals for the rest of the month to set ourselves up for a good and successful 2019. Let me just add Maya. So whatever goals that you are setting for yourself, hey, hi. When personal goals or business goals or goals for your family, today we're going to be talking about what happens when you don't set goals, um, you know, for yourself and the things that you are missing out on by just letting life happen and kind of just going with the flow but struggling and complaining and not knowing how to get out of your funk, you know, um, talking to the same people about the same things, um, not really. And not, and not being intentional with your time. You right. Know? Groundhog's Day all right. the time. And I, I know that goals can seem really overwhelming if you have done them before, or if you have, and you've, done it and not ever touched them before, but that's why we created the goal setting workbook that we did. So we really encourage you to go ahead and download that. And then at the end of the month on the 26th, we're going to have a drawing for a free goal setting session. So we're right. super excited about that. So the first thing that we wanted to talk about is that if you don't set your goals, you're going to just stay the same. And so, you know, notice what are you, what are you complaining about on a daily basis? What's causing you stress? basis what do you want to you know and what is the opposite of that you know mm -hmm. what do you want to improve and so without doing some reflection and setting those goals you're just going to stay the same and it's going to be the same like Michaela just said just complaining and being stagnant and well, what you focus on what you think about whether you think about it or you actually say it as well you create more of you know and it's so easy to get stuck in in that rut when you don't have the proper support system or but it does begin with yourself and setting that intention you know right. um mm -hmm. and, and it's to start creating a different momentum in life um you know to set new you know boundaries for yourself set new you know business goals like there's so many different things that will happen even if you just decide to work on one thing like um right working right now, again, back on my morning routine, and it's completely transformed my day, the way my mindset is in the morning, how I am with my daughter, it's improved her moods, you know, so just focusing on one thing, like you don't have to make like 100 goals, just like you don't have to make 100 to do lists, like you have to focus on the main things, like the bigger ones, but you also have to know how to chunk them down, which we show you how in the workbook. Right, right. exactly. And it can be something so too, some like spending, if you feel like you don't have friends or you're not spending time with the friends that you have, make it a goal of seeing friends once a month, you know, and then, then it's like, okay, step it out. And you know, all right, I need to reach out to friends. And if it's hard, I know sometimes it's hard for some of my friends to, to see each other. In person. so it might be that we have to get it on the calendar six months in advance. But if you don't have that goal, you don't know that you need to reach out six months in advance to make it happen. So the second thing we wanted to talk about is that if you don't set your goals, you don't know how to move forward. So like we just talked about, you're, you're stagnant, but you don't know what you want to do or where you want to go or who you want to be with or you want to, how you want to work on yourself or how you want to create a business, grow a business or leave your job. You don't know exactly what it is because you haven't done that deeper work of creating the goals. So again, it just leads to stagnation. And if you, if you don't know what your goals are, right. If you're in the place of like, you know, living this life that you haven't even, you know, dreamed of to, how do I put it to, to make yourself think big, right? If you're like, I don't know, I just, you know, a lot of moms we talk to, they're like, I just want the house clean. And I just want like all these basic things. Like those are basic things, but like, how can you step up? And, and I know that in each and every one of us, there are big dreams and desires right. and right. there are 
big visions inside, you just have to tune in. And it does have to, you know, you have to tap into yourself, you know, whether it is through meditation or through audiobooks or, you know, um, listening to our, you know, Facebook lives, like we encourage you to um, start tuning into yourself because you are your number one coach, right? Like we work with women, we are coaches, and we're able to pull things out a little bit quicker than you would be on your own. But ultimately, like, you know, the things that light you up, right? Nobody can tell you those things. So being able to tune in and, um, you know, I encourage you to just write down these big goals that you have, whether it is to travel, whether it is to, you know, um, like go out more, like whatever, whatever it is, whatever lights you up, you know, go to art classes or, you know, revamp your wardrobe, whatever, you know, it can be right. any little things that if, if you think of it, and if you think of it, like already have like in your life, and it lights you up, like you're meant to do that. Right, right, exactly. And so it's like, thinking about one thing that if you improved it in your life, how like that, what would one thing that could really shift your life and make you feel better and then it's kind of like adding on as you go and then of course the next part of it is kind of stepping out of your comfort zone so there's there's kind of that inward work and then setting the goal and then it's kind of like stepping out because sometimes when you set a goal it can feel uncomfortable or if you're used to kind of being secluded it shouldn't be like super easy it should feel uncomfortable and right right exactly um, and then I know one of the women that we just recently interviewed on the podcast was talking about, and she, she does EFT and she's talking about how stepping out of your comfort zone, you know, you, you, you have this kind of bubble around you. And then, so when you step out, it, it, it expands the bubble, but then like it starts feeling like normal and then your bubble's here and then you step out a little bit more and like your growth just continues. So I love the way that she explains that. So the last thing is that if you don't set your goals, you don't have a clear vision of what you want your life to look like. So you don't take the time to reflect and to dig in and to visualize and to really think about, okay, what's lacking in my life and what do I want? And because it doesn't happen. If you hate your job, you can make a plan to get out of that job. You can get a new job. You can start your own job. You can, like, there are there are millions of ways to make money. So it's just, if you, if you just sit there and just take it, nothing's going to change. And you're not going to have a vision of what it is that you want. Right. So super, super important to, that's why we're really focused on goals. And again, it's setting right now is when you should be setting your goals for 2019 or next month or whatever. But it's just this continuous process because we don't really, we don't necessarily agree with the idea of setting goals for the of January. It's just, it's an ongoing cycle because you're constantly changing and shifting. And just because it says January 1st in the calendar doesn't mean that, that, okay, then my life starts. You can start now. So I mean, you can go back in January 1st and look at the, the goals that you have set with us this month and say, wow, like I feel... Like, I've already accomplished that, right? So you'll start to gain that momentum of accomplishment and, and start gaining the confidence and start small, right? And once you see yourself accomplishing that one thing, like, you know, go a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. And one thing I wanted to touch upon about not having a roadmap. So if you don't write them down, you have no direction. So it's like have it going to, let's say from one state to another, like let's say I'm going to go visit Maya, right? And, I'm, and I get in the car and I have no GPS. How am I gonna get there? Like I'm not, you know, like I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna get frustrated. Um, it's gonna take me a very long time, even though like- And you're gonna want to turn around. Right. And even though I know, and, and I'm not going to know how to get back to myself, right. To my house. Like if I don't have a GPS, if I don't have a map and, 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 and how to get there, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get there and I'm not going to be successful. So we all want, you know, we here right. want you to be successful in life and, and whatever that looks like. And it could look like one thing this month and another thing next month, you know, revisit your goals regularly, you know, make it a habit to, go back to them quarterly, you know, if you have to set an alarm or, 
you know, whatever you got to do, just review right. it um, yeah. And also, if you need help, I mean, we're going to do a drawing. So we're going to pick one person that, um, you know, gets the workbook. So we're going to pick one and we're going to do a one on one session with them on a specific goal um, privately. And um, but if you are, you know, if you know that there's something inside of you that and you want to shine, right? Um, book a call with us and and let us know what it is and let us help you and let us show you how to do it. Let us give you a roadmap and, you know, accountability and whatever you need, you know, we are here for you. Right, and the call is free. I mean, it's it cannot hurt. It simply cannot hurt you. That's it's only, it's only going to you've had in your entire life. So yeah. we encourage yeah. um, that here. So we'll put the link to the goal setting workbook below and we'll be having a drawing on the 26th, which is um, in about a week and a half for a free goal setting session. But in the meantime, if you want to schedule a free coaching call with us, please do so. It's like 45 minutes to an hour of your time where we go through what's going on in your life, where you want to go and try to help make a plan to get there. And it's free. So, and just want to note for any women that we have spoken to, cause there are a few on here that we have spoken to. If you are still feeling stuck, let us know. Like we're still here for you. We still are rooting here, for, you know, for you. And, um, we want to make this work for you. So let us know, shoot us a message you know, let us know how you're doing and, and how the breakthrough call has served you and how far you got, you know, from, you right. know, we talked about goals and, and, and things. Cause one of the, one of the things that we do on the call is to talk about what's going on in your life right now. Um, and it could be very messy. It could be uncomfortable, but we also talk about where you want to go um, and what that timeline looks like. And it's all different for every woman. You know, one woman might want to start a business, um, like we've done it, you know, an online business. One woman might want to lose weight or or be a better parent or um, improve their relationship. Like these are all the things that we have worked on. Um, we have amazing, amazing resources. We've built a program around it. And so, you know, take advantage and, and, and think about what it's really worth to stay stuck where you are, you know? Right. What's it going to cost if you stay stuck? That's really what it's about. Yeah. So you deserve more than being stuck. That's for sure. Yeah. So, so all start right, Lynn. worthy, you know, how can you start feeling worthy? Set those goals. Yeah. Well, yeah. So we love you ladies. We will see you on Friday. Yes. Talk to you Bye. soon. Bye.